Hello everybody. Today we're going to be unboxing the Gel Sniper's Blaster Toy Combat Model. This blaster toy right here is recommended for ages 12 and up with a little bit of do-it-yourself assembly, but it's not that difficult and I'm going to show you how. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you that it includes many cool accessories such as a scope to help you aim, a flashlight so you can shoot your friends in the dark. It also has a vertical grip that will stabilize your gun while you shoot. It has a powerful 7.4 volt rechargeable lithium battery, a USB cable to charge the battery pack, protective eyewear of course, please remember this is the most important thing, always wear your goggles, and a carrying strap for carrying your blaster toy as well. Needless to say, the most important part, we also have 3,000, that's right, 3,000 dehydrated gel sniper balls that's just gonna bring you a lot of fun. So why don't we check it out? As you can see on the front, we have three editions. We have the Patriot, the Hero, and the Warrior. Let's see which one we have today. All right, we have our instruction manual. Thank you for shopping with gel snipers. Make sure you take part in the lifetime warranty, the free gel snipers club, and a lifetime 10% off for all your gel balls and ammo packs. As you can see now by the design, let me bring out the body of the gun first. We have the Patriot Edition today, which is what we will be working with. This looks very nice. Check it out, all those colors. We also have the gun stock. Put this right here. The magazine, which will be carrying everything you need to shoot all your friends the scope for long range, the 3000 dehydrated gel ball. We'll get to that later. And then of course, all our accessories. Let's see what we have here. First, we have the USB cable for charging your battery. We also have, ooh, the silencer. This will be a lot of fun. The battery pack, very simple. Your carry strap for your blaster toy. We have your rear sight and your front sight. Put these down here. The flashlight, of course, for shooting at night. Oh, this is the stabilizer, as you can see. And this will hold your weapon steady as you shoot. Put that back in here for now. And last but not least, we have a funnel, which of course means we also have your gel ball ammo pack, which comes with the easy funnel, for easy to load your weapon at any time. But most importantly, as I've said before, always wear your protective eyewear. Always have your goggles on when you're out there playing with your friends. Okay, in that case, let's start putting this bad boy together. As I said before, nice and sturdy, very lightweight. Let's add some weight to it. First of all, let's begin with the battery pack. As you can see, we've got two sets of wires here. Let me tell you why. You need to make sure that you charge your battery before you go and play by connecting your USB cable to the white cords right here. Once you do that, make sure that your battery is fully charged each and every time. Put this right here for now. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect our battery. In order to do that, we need to bring the gun stock. And just so you can see, it's also a very beautiful design all over the gun stock as well, is we have this release lever. And what it does is it lets this tube come out. This tube is going to hold your battery. And what we do is we just slide it in here, slides right in. And then we bring, if you can see, there's a small hook on the battery and that will connect to the wire coming out of the gun. Once you connect these, what you can do is bring in the gun stock and slide it in. Now it won't go in until you press the release lever. And at that point, it should slide right in 
and slide it all the way through. Then, make sure once your battery is in the battery tube, that you, careful with the wires, bring the gun stock at a 45 degree angle. Push it into the gun. Once it clicks shut, turn it, and now your gun stock is locked. Of course, if you would like a longer gun stock, make sure you click on the lever and then you can make your gun as long or as short as you like. All right, so now how about we add the scope? What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the scope and if you see right here, there is a button. If you press this button, it will release the brick. And what you do is you put the scope on the railing, holding the button and you slide your scope into position. And there it is. Once you let go, it will not move. So now let's add our sights. We'll begin with the rear view sight. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it in from the back. It slides into place as far back or forward as you like. You'll hear it click, but once it's stuck, it will sit there unless you move it. So now we have our front sight. And our front sight will slide in from the front and you can place it wherever you want. Remember, you can always adjust your scope between the rear sight and the front sight to whatever you like, whatever's comfortable for you. Great, so we have our sights and we have our scope. How about that flashlight? I've been wanting to work with that one. As you can see, we have our flashlight and we have a screw on this flashlight. So what you're gonna do is you're going to turn it to the left and you're gonna loosen it, which means now, you can bring it to the front of your gun and you can slide it on the side rail. Make sure it's nice and loose. And once it slides in wherever you like, I like it here in the middle, make sure and tighten the screw once again. Now your scope will be sitting there and it'll be ready to go. When you are ready to play, make sure you remove the battery tap right here and then you will be ready to play once your battery makes contact with the flashlight just like this. Now, and there you go, there's your flashlight. Whenever you're not using it, I would suggest you put the battery tap right back inside to save your battery. Great, excellent. How about we add the silencer just in case? Silencer is really easy. All you have to do is slide it in from the front and it will grab on nice and tight, and there you go. Our gun is almost completely set up. It's got all the accessories mounted. All right, let's see what else we can add. Let's continue with our hand grip right here. As you can see, once again, very simple. It's got that little loose screw on the side that we can work with, nice and easy. You loosen it by going left, and it will wobble just a little bit, and then, you can slide it across the bottom of your gun and you can put it as far forward or back as you like, whatever makes you comfortable. And then what you do is you tighten the screw. Once you tighten the screw, it will grab on, it will not move, your gun will be nice and tight. Make sure it's on there tight so that your gun doesn't slip from your hand. And now you have your Patriot Model Gel Blaster Toy but there's a lot more we can add to it. Most important of all, we have the magazine. The magazine is designed to hold all your gel blaster balls. Make sure that you fill it and that you fill it correctly. Speaking of gel blaster balls, here they are. Remember, they're dehydrated. So these are not exactly the balls you're using to play with. You have to prepare them. You must soak these balls in water for at least three to four hours before you intend to play. And when that happens, this is what you get. Of course, they're really soft, they're wet, they're fun. It's gonna be so much fun that you're gonna have playing with these. Make sure you only use the Gel Sniper's gel balls. If you use a different kind, they might be different sizes and they will jam your gun, your ammo pack. And what you do is you're gonna carry this and you're gonna fill it with your gel sniper gel balls. 
and as you can see with the funnel that's attached to it, it's easy for loading. Now, I know what you're thinking. The first thing you want to do is put them in here. No, that is the worst thing you could possibly do because this is where all the gel balls come from. This is where they shoot out of into your gun and then out of your barrel. If you put any gel balls in here, you will jam the mechanism and you will not be able to play. The correct way to load is here on the side with this little switch. And now that your magazine is open, you can load them in very simply, very softly, slowly make sure you get them in there and fill it all the way. Always make sure that your pack is completely full. Once your magazine is full all the way to the top, you think, yeah, we're ready to play. Not exactly just yet. In order to make sure that the balls are going through the mechanism, you must prime the pump like so. Do you see this switch right here? You have to press it and keep pressing it until the balls start jumping out. There you go. Once the balls start popping out, you are ready. Let's get these out of the way. Our magazine is now pumped, ready to go. And you're gonna put it here right in front of the twigger. Remember, make sure you slide it right in. Once it pops and clicks, you are ready to go. Make sure you always keep your finger off the trigger unless you're actually playing and ready to shoot someone. Now, while you're playing, you will definitely run out of bullets while you're having fun, which means you're gonna have to come here and see the release switch for the magazine. Once you press it, the magazine will slide right out. Pop it in, it clicks, we're good to go again once you refill. Okay, so here we go. We have our switch and you can switch from automatic to manual mode. Now we're gonna show you fully automatic. So now that it's an automatic but facing back, we're gonna show you how this works. As you can see, the gun works great. You're probably wondering, what about manual mode? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move forward. You can hear the motor whirring. It's ready to go one more time. And for this mode, you see this switch right behind your rear view, right before your stock. You have this part right here. Pull it back, let it go, your gun is ready. There you go. This gun packs quite a punch. Well, it seems like we've had a lot of fun. So let's talk about how to take care of your gun. This might not happen in life, but whenever you're done playing for any reason, you might still have gel balls in your magazine. It is very important that you clean out your magazine and make sure you get all the gel balls out of your magazine. The reason why is because these balls are soaked in water. But if you leave them in here for a couple hours, a couple days, they will dehydrate. They will get stuck inside the mechanism. The motor will stop working and it will stop pumping out gel balls and then you will not be able to use your gel blaster. Please make sure every time that you play, you empty out your magazine and then you disassemble your weapon. And that will bring you many, many, many hours of fun. Thank you very much.